Hey, what's up? This is John Deddy, a uh, professional drummer, currently playing drums with Anthrax, and uh, amateur crossfitter. I've been playing professionally full-time for the last, uh, back into it for the last couple of years now, and uh, recently I just started uh, filling in for Charlie Benante, playing for the band Anthrax. I played in some local bands when I was growing up, obviously as a teenager and in my early 20s. And then uh, I joined a, a semi-professional band called Evil Dead that had a couple albums out in, in Europe. And then from there, uh, in 94, uh, I joined the heavy metal band Testament. That was my first real exposure to being a professional musician. And then I actually got the opportunity to join Slayer. And then after Slayer, I actually went back to Testament in 97 and uh, was with them until 98. The first tour I got to do was a headline band and, you know, tour bus and, and just being at that, that level, you know, immediately, which was, uh, I, I never took that for granted. Uh, and uh, it was just, it was a great time. I'm involved with another project called Animetal USA, which is more of a fun project with uh, Rudy Sarzo and uh, Chris Impelitary, Mike Vissera, for any metalheads might, might know those names. It's completely based off Japanese anime, so yeah, we wear makeup and costumes, it's crazy. And the, the Japanese fans, they love it. It's, it's a lot of fun, we really enjoy it. I mean, you know, we always said as kids we'd love to dress up as Kiss, and I guess now that we're in our 40s, some in there a little older than the 40s. Uh, you know, we finally get to do it. I literally started playing drum set on my 14th birthday. And my parents were divorced. I asked my dad for a drum set, I asked my mom for a drum set. I figured I'd get at least one out of the deal. I wound up getting a kit from both of them stuck those things both together and I immediately from day one I started with a double bass drum set and my brother got me the Anthrax Fistful of Metal record that had just come out and I heard the drumming on that I was like oh my god this is amazing when I started playing drums the bands that I immediately gravitated towards were Anthrax, Metallica, Slayer later you know a couple years later then there was Megadeth but but those three bands were literally the staple and foundation of of me as a, I was like that's who I am as a drummer you know I'm not a guy that plays jazz I'm not a guy that plays country I'm not a guy that plays fusion I'm a heavy metal drummer <laughs> and I knew that from day one <laughs> CrossFit originally actually back in 2007 and I just did it for a little bit and then and then I got out of it I, and it was just a little exposure but then I got I got really into it in 2010 <laughs> I started it in 2010, I, I dove right into it. I mean, every, you know, I gave it everything. I mean, immediately, like, four days a week, went on this insane paleo diet, and um, the similarity of CrossFit and the type of drumming that I do is so insanely close to each other. Uh, and the fact that CrossFit, you know, it really pushes your intensity like nothing else. And since I'm continually pushing my intensity on stage, 
it was the perfect training, you know, tool to synergistically work together. And in fact, even today, I mean, I, I almost refer to the drumming that I do as CrossFit drumming. For me, I'm more of that old school guy where I really just, you know, I hit hard and, and I lay into it. And, uh, and so CrossFit has really conditioned my body more than any other style of, of training to push myself to that next level. When I'm on stage, I'll actually push my energy level like I'm doing a wad. If I know there's two songs left or wherever I am in that set, especially the last songs, I'll really lay into it. You know, the last song's almost like, oh, you got 30 seconds left to go. So really put, and I'll just sit there and I'll just, I'll, I'll just beat the shit out of those things, man. When I get off stage, no, I've got nothing left in the tank. I'm, I'm done. And again, that's just because I like to hit hard. I like to be, you know, a heavy power player and, and I just really like to lay into it. I can sit back and tap, but that's just not, that's not me. So now I just, I break more sticks, which, you know, my stick endorser doesn't like. <laughs> I break more cymbals, which my cymbal endorser doesn't like. Uh, but that's just part of the game, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm playing heavy metal and that style, it's just, that, that's what I love about the style of music I play, again, is that it's so compatible with CrossFit. I think the, the best feeling anyone could ever have, uh, you know, in their career, no matter what, what they're doing for their career, is when you're actually doing something and, and not once you ever even think about making money or, you know, or, you know, where finances don't even come into, you know, when you're even thinking about it and it doesn't seem like work. I, I, you know, I might be on two hours of sleep, I might be a little cranky because I've been sleep deprived or, or whatever, but I do it with a smile on my face, you know? I mean, I just, I love what I do. And it's who I am, you know, as a person. CrossFit drumming. <laughs> <laughs>